Imagine seeing Fleetwood Mac and Kate Bush live in the same evening. Well, that was so close to being a reality in the late 70s. Here's why it didn't happen. And it's not because Kate Bush had an affair with Lindsay Buckingham. P probably. Hi, I'm Adam. Welcome back to Music Mongoose. Kate Bush turned down Fleetwood Mac's invitation to open for them on their insanely successful USA Rumours tour, the tour for an album that would become one of the best selling in the world. That's a bit like being told you've won the lottery and then saying, eh, no thanks. At the time of the tour in 1978, Fleetwood Mac were already a monumental global force in the music industry. Eleven albums in, the band were riding high. Rumours, released the previous year, only launched the band to new commercial levels, after the success of their self-titled album from 1975. In one month, they shifted 10 million copies of Rumours worldwide. It won Best Album at the Grammys, it would be the sixth best-selling album of the 70s, eventually becoming the 12th best-selling album of all time. With genre-defining tracks like Go Your Own Way, Dreams, Don't Stop and You Make Loving Fun, critics lapped up this album like a thirsty dog lapping up water. Yum yum yum. By the way, if by some miracle you still don't have a physical copy of the album, there's a link downstairs to get one. And there's some other goodies down there as well. Go on, have a look. Secret goodies. Mmm. Anyway, safe to say Fleetwood Mac were on top of the world at this point, and you'd have to be mad to turn down a support slot from them. Or you'd have to be Kate Bush. In the same year, Bush was having an exceptional start to her career. Having released Wuthering Heights, the first single written and performed solely by a female artist to reach number one in the UK. David Gilmour of Pink Floyd, having discovered her incredible voice talent via a mutual friend, helped produce her demo tape, leading to the eventual signing of Bush to EMI Records in 1976. Thanks, David! Capitalising on the success of Wuthering Heights, Bush was quick to release her debut album, The Kick Inside, co-produced by guess who? David Gilmour. Thanks, David! In the same year, she also released her second album, Lionhearts, not co-produced by David Gilmour. Oh, sorry, David. The Kick Inside reached number three in the UK and spent a staggering 71 weeks in the charts. It went on to be certified platinum, selling over a million copies. All of this success caught the attention of Fleetwood Mac, who kindly extended an invitation to Kate Bush to join them on their rumours tour across the USA. Kate Bush responded with, Nah, f off, mate. She turned down the offer in order to focus on her own tour she was putting together. The Tour of Life. Her first and, as it would turn out, only tour. Just 24 dates. It lasted just over a month, but she made sure it had a huge impact. Mime, magic, poetry, dancing, even psychic readings. This wasn't just a Kate Bush show, this was an experience. Yeah, no wonder she had to turn down Fleetwood Mac to focus on building this tour. And also, just imagine what that 30 minute support slot would have been like for Kate Bush. An empty stage, no dancers, no magicians, no fancy lights. That's not the kind of show Kate Bush would have wanted to put on. Fair play, Kate, fair play. Just goes to show her creative principles were there from the start. The tour can even be accredited with the invention of the very first wireless headset microphone, and she was the first performer to ever use one on stage. Sadly, the tour also involved the death of Bush's lighting engineer, Bill Duffield, who passed away on the job. Some say this is a contributing factor as to why Bush decided never to tour again. So to be honest, I don't think Fleetwood Mac should have felt too bad for Kate Bush rejecting their offer because she stopped touring altogether a year after. And let's face it, she didn't need that support slot, did she? She did just fine on her own. I'd love to know the best support main act combination you've ever seen in your life. Let me know in the comments below. And speaking of Fleetwood Mac, click the video on screen for the time they were replaced with imposters during a tour of America. And I'll catch you next time on Music Mongoose. Still here, are you? Click the bloody video, what are you doing, weirdo?